The internet is a pretty large ecosystem, so there are, you know, if you look on the earth, there are stormy parts, there are sunny parts, and some partly cloudy parts. You want an explanation of that? In the sunny department, the internet is just growing like gangbusters. There are close to three billion people on the internet today. Um, it's being used for many more purposes uh, than anybody ever envisioned. Um, I don't know if you were in the technical plenary yesterday, but uh, my colleague Dave uh, Thaler uh, put up a very funny slide in which he showed uh, toothbrushes being, uh, you know, accessible, and of course, uh, you know, everybody does their day-to-day -day financial in America using the internet. It's uh, a means for people in developing countries to be part of the global economy. And so all these things are tremendously good. Uh, there are some storms, uh, I would say, uh, that we see. Um, an example of which being uh, that, that because it's gotten so big, uh, governments want to know uh, how we uh, govern ourselves and how, uh, how the rules of society apply. And these are good discussions to have. It's a very healthy uh, societal debate. Um, and there are some cloudy parts. Uh, dare I say, um, you know, not so good weather. Um, obviously, any time you have something this big, bad people try to take advantage of it. Um, and we've seen that in a couple of different ways. Uh, obviously, uh, those who want to uh, steal money uh, see the internet as a new way to do that and have been doing so, and a lot of people are fighting them on that. Um, there is this notion that nations can use the internet to harm other nations' national objectives. And so they are having dialogue about that. These are important things for governments and for peoples to, to discuss and to try to come to terms with. It's like any form of technology, of course. You have to apply new rules as it, as it develops.